so I was reading this article on The Verge and then they linked another one, which is actually looks to have some capabilities. And this one, I'm like, all right, well, that can lift some packages. Mm. It's expensive. It's a U.S. startup called Agility Robotics. The robot is called Digit. It is for sale. And Ford has apparently bought two units um, to research package delivery, it, like in a kind of industrial setting uh. or distribution setting or something like that. So you can see it has some QR-like imagery on the box, some markers, some identifiers, and you can see this robot is strong and has a better walk to it, I think. Mm. It's still a little bit tiny step, but watch this. It's starting to, start to get going in the right direction, and there you go. That's a little better, covering a little more ground, Will. And it's in an office space. It's inside of an office environment, and it's it's lifting a package, by the way, up to, uh, up to 40 pounds. Mm. Up to 40 pounds, just squeezing the side. You don't want it to squeeze your melon. No. That's quite a bit of force. Remember the chess broken finger? Uh -huh. The chess robot broken finger. Digit can perform some operations autonomously. Um, however, it's not as capable as a human when it comes to adapting to new environments. Um, they're hoping eventually for it to be fully autonomous, obviously. That seems to be the thing. Hmm. Um, the robot has some degree of upkeep. So running it can cost somewhere in the neighborhood of $25 an hour. I don't know what that upkeep actually is. And the initial cost is low to mid six figures. So that's no joke either. But it appears to be a somewhat legit thing that you can interact with right now. And I know you're, you move around boxes sometimes. You might want this guy. It's pretty friendly looking. Not bad. Doesn't really have a Slender. head. Would you say no head, yes. would you say humanoid? Would you say it needs a wig or something? Mm. The head is too small. Then you're willing to say humanoid. Uh -huh. 